Hey everyone out there in YouTube land, it is another edition of Joe's Record Store. And uh, I want to show you my recent editions. I'm still waiting for... Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for a couple more records in the mail, which I'll get to later. This is the second and first... Yeah, this is the second release by Scald and VM. Excellent Swedish black metal band. And this is yeah, Strib Stridslisten. Really good music, and it's even I, the EP that they put out was excellent. And they've actually seemed to do a lot better on this one, song-wise. And the production is crystal clear, really good. I mean, like a real, you know, professional album. It doesn't sound like you know the old rotten sound necro sounding demos you know from you know the early period of you know the underground death in black metal where it sounds like you know somebody they recorded in uh, mom's basement for two dollars on a i mean it's a really good quality recording and the music itself is excellent i mean just solid blasting riffs and i've also got the cd which i reviewed in a previous video and i got this from metal helm records it is also available from vision of god records another christian hard and heavy music label distro which i highly recommend i've hardly had any issues with them as yet but uh yes so it's available from both vision of god and metal helm and uh, it's red vinyl, but I haven't cracked it open. I'm waiting until I go home, in which I'm going to carry all my records home in this. I got, it was a pack of three. So when I go home to Panama, so that's why I paid for a little bit extra for the first class boarding, so-called, on the airline. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And there's uh, and tester on top. So it's not filled to capacity yet, as of yet. But if this gets full, I have two more empty ones standing by. And here it is, Skald and VM, Stridslisten. Stridslisten. And um, this is a really good album. I highly recommend it. And, uh, of course, songs in English and Swedish. Ad lure dopt i blot. It looks like it means baptized in blood because I know also in the Dutch language you know they we have dope dienst which also means you know baptism or dip service literally so it looks like yeah baptized in blood wolves among sheep do what thou wilt goat whore shards of the infernal fall twin shot whore master probably you know scathing criticism of the mainstream church then yeah, but this is a solid album. I was not disappointed one bit, and even if it was a bad recording, I, you know, it's still part of the fun, the whole, you know, hit and miss. This is a U.S. band from Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And what's special about Pittsburgh to me? Well, Pittsburgh, aside from having a nice music scene in this awesome band right here, Slaves B.C., you know, Pittsburgh is also the hometown of one of my favorite movie directors, George Romero. And if you don't know who George Romero is, well, you're probably some person that likes chick flicks. Yeah, but yeah, the zombie movies, I mean, started in Pittsburgh. That whole movie genre pretty much was jump start. Night of the Living Dead, shot in the Pittsburgh area. All the locals who grew up there at the time can tell you all about it. But aside from that little sidetrack, this band is, uh, it's like a really raw mix of black and doom. It does seem to have a little bit of a deathcore element in it. But really it's, you know, for the most part, I would, I would consider it more like a, like a combination of black metal and doom. Really shrill, shrieky vocals, just like this one. Real, really intense listen, really great listen. I ordered two more records from this same artist. Actually, 
the yeah it's a split which i'll show in the next video if it arrives i've been waiting for it for a little while now i'm just hoping that you know i have you know a roomie that gets my mail for me when i'm out so i'm i'm just hoping it didn't get lost in the mail or ripped off or whatever but yeah the, the i have yeah two other albums from this same artist on the way both on vinyl which i'll be eager to show you i just and this definitely has a real underground you know raw diy um aesthetic to it so you know lo we are all god's fault light bearer glory looked upon the face of the la so i mean this is definitely looks like you know they're taking more of a like an extreme soapbox preaching approach to their lyrics but it also has, has kind of a punk punk vibe i mean it kind of looks like you know like a punk or crust core record you know just really i mean this is just really raw i mean it looks like you know it was done by a eighth grade art student but that's part of the fun and that's why i love the underground one of the reasons i love the underground and uh, so I haven't made it, I don't have anything to play it on. I did, you know, listen to, you know, their songs online and I'm, you know, more than impressed. You know, I love it. And also this, along with the others, are records that I'm buying the second time because they got lost in the mail by, and, you know, it was an irresponsible, re well, I've told the story over and over in previous videos, but... Yeah, they got lost on the way to Panama, and yeah, so I'm buying them the second, buying them for the second time. Uh, so Rocks Records and these other distros have probably been making a lot of money off me lately, you know, doing these second time around purchases for the same thing. And this is, I've had it on, you know, I have it on CD, it re reissued CDs. And I still have the cassette of this album from, you know, when I was a teenager and a brand new, newly converted metalhead. And what's special about this record is Deliverance is literally the first thrash metal band I ever heard, you know, back on the uh, California metal compilation. It came out in 87. And then uh, later I heard another track. It was Hot Metal Summer 2, which was a cut from this record. And, uh, this is literally the first Christian thrash metal album I ever purchased in my life. You know, on cassette, of course, you know, that was the heyday of, uh, of cassettes. And uh, from, you know, the Christian bookstore, I get any kind of metal in. I mean, this album just drove me wild. Just, I mean, this really made a huge impact on my much younger self way back when. So, and so finally, and I'm glad to, you know, get a, get the get the uh vinyl edition you know aside from having the cds you, you know in this cassette for longer you know for years and and uh and, and of course you know the other their other contemporary which was also was vengeance rising well grand vengeance rising was more on you know just going you know straight aggressive and a little more brutal deliverance was more like the Melo the melodic side of thrash you know if jeff tate of queensryche fronted a thrash band it would probably be deliverance i mean because jimmy brown can sing just as good as he plays guitar and write songs but you know it's this is just a self-titled debut i mean lots of power in melody and, and you know it was uh, kind of compared to slayer a little bit a lit you know it's kind of like Slayer meets Hyrax meets, you know, the kind of, you know, the classic, you know, power speed metal, you know, and again, you know, unlike their contemporary Vengeance Rising, they, they put, there's a lot more em emphasis on, you know, being melodic and, you know, guitar harmonies and melodies, and I mean, just solid melodic thrash metal. And, uh, you know, if you're of a younger generation, you're discovering this, I mean, I highly recommend this. And uh, this is their most recent album, as far as I know. This is uh, the subversive kind, and I'm not going to try to explain the art. You can actually 
check out what's the name of the video? I think it's called Louder Than Hell. And there's actually the the uh, guys that did Louder Than Hell have a special series of interviews with the who's who of you know Christian metal bands, Christian metal history, and Jimmy Brown was one of them. And it was a very good you know in depth and informative interview. But aside from that point part. I mean, this is really solid, straightforward, aggressive thrash metal. I mean, you just, it's like you're just, you, start, you just put it on the stereo and be ready to be run over by intense, slamming riffs. Of course, and uh, you know, I, I like kind of the, you know, political, socio-political allegory there as well. And uh, I just got the, I think they sold out of the colored vinyl. I just got the black vinyl. You know, just because I'm kind of cheap, I really am Dutch. I got the black vinyl just to save a few more dollars. Yeah, right. But uh, that's an inside joke about Dutch people. And because I kind of am one. It, uh, anyway, you know, you'll, my friends get it. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend Intense Album. And uh, I'm... There's also been other Deliverance albums that have been re-released. Re Some I like more than others, but uh, you know, I when I got the CD back, you know, about a year or so ago, I loved it, and uh, so finally I got the record. And now to the other end of the metal pendulum, glam. Yes, I love glam, hard rock commercial friendly radio hair bands just as much as i love the brutal you know genres of metal so yeah this is a band that i i still have the cassettes from my childhood and i have not yet got these on cd and to be honest with you i only really like the first two holy soldier records the other ones are okay but i they just got old on me fast and uh, but uh, the first two are just excellent, you know, straightforward melodic hard rock and glam metal, and uh, they've been around. You know, they 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 were around a while and had a following, but it took them, you know, between that period of '85 and then finally in 1990 they were signed to Murr Records. Murr Records was more like that, you know, f contemporary Christian adult contemporary music like if you liked amy grant type of stuff that was uh the kind of and then i guess they wanted to you know jump on to the to the metal craze that was hitting the christian bookstores and they signed holy soldier and actually the demo the demos are really good i wish that they'd re-release their old demo material but uh, according to my friend pastor bob they hate it and of course, Pastor Bob has a little bit of an issue with Holy Soldier because he said they got kind of a attitudes, and he wouldn't endorse them back in, you know, that day. But that aside, you no, know, the music is still great, and very straightforward evangelical message. Eventually, I'll get them on CD. And this is, you know, good self-titled debut, and uh, see no evil. That's a video clip. And um, I know they also put out a DVD, which I have. And I, but uh, so guys in Holy Soldier, if you see this video, please, pretty please, give Rocks Records or Sound Mass or Retroactive. Please let somebody re release your old demos. Us fans would love that. And of course, I always loved, you know, hearing the raw, grainy demo tapes, you know, as a collector and also tape trading. But. That's just my my personal plea as a fan. But you know, it's their music, their material, so they can do what they want. You know, but, uh, it's a really good presentation, and of course, you know, you get a little get to see more details of the pictures than you know the little cubes that you'd see on the uh, you know the little J card of my cassette. And uh, this album's definitely you know. Of course, you know, the 80s are over, early 90s are over. But, you know, this album came out, like, exactly at the right time. It's, like, just in time before the, you know, the grunge hit, you know, uh, you know, just about a whole year later. 
you know, the, you know that pier between 90, 92. <coughs> you know, it was, uh, you know, those were the kind of the last good years of, you know, this style of metal and, and also the commercial viability. You know, the, yeah, for, the, for this era, though, this is a really excellent album. And the second one, Holy Soldier, Last Train. And, uh, yeah, some, I kind of like the debut a little better, but this one is, uh, you know, just as hard and heavy. And, of course, it has a sappy ballads just like that one. And uh, really good. I think, like, my favorite tracks on is Dead End Drive, Fairweather Friend, Gimme Shelter is a cover. And Hallow's Eve. Virtue and Vice is a really good one, but uh, this is a really great presentation, and I, and I still have the cassette of this, you know, from my high school days. In fact, yeah, I kept all my cassettes, and I'm looking forward to buying, you know, getting more from Rocks Records, a great piece of Christian metal history. And uh, so, okay, so that's that for Joe's Record Store, some... Vintage glam, old school thrash metal, U.S. black doom metal, and Swedish melodic black metal. All right. That's it for Joe's Record Store. Thanks again for watching. Rock on, stay metal. Again, if you're interested in getting any of these records, check out Metal Helm Records, Vision of God Records, Rocks Records, and Christian Metal Distribution. And last but not least, Boone's Overstock. Stay metal. Oops, I dropped the camera.